Hey guys, Dangle Nerd here. Um, today I'm nerding out about my Swiss Gear Scan Smart 1900 backpack. This thing, <laughs> I got it load out, loaded out, you know, pretty much to the max. This is the way I've been carrying it for the past, I'd say, three months. Uh, gearing up for my deployment to Vietnam, which now uh, is not going to happen. So um, I thought I would maybe transition back to my uh, Vertex Dead Letter sling bag, which is, you know, the purpose of the Dead Letter is for, for my work, <laughs> work bag. Um, I don't know if it's gonna work because I've gotten so accustomed to carrying everything that I need. So this is like 19 liters. Uh, the dead letter sling is, I think, 12 liters, and then my Vertex Tourist sling is 6 liters. So there's a nice, you know, size progression, 6, 12, and 19. But um, I really, this is like the best backpack I've ever had. You know, I've had a lot of North Face uh, backpacks and East Pack when I was in college and all that, but I really like this one just because I like the compartments, you know, like the different, I don't know, I'm into compartmentalization. I like, I like keeping my things separate and organized. But um, um, just from the outside, this is the way it looks. And um, I have my Streamlight ProTac, I think it's the HL, HLX uh, flashlight here in its case. Oh, wrong way. And then my body cam over here. Um, I think that, oh, my uh, 511, no, not the, this is the Benchmade uh, Sock P Dagger. That goes right there. I just have it slotted there. So those are the things on the external part. Um, I don't know, I guess we just go through and see what I absolutely, like what I absolutely need and what I can, um, I guess, do without. Okay. Well, here's that. And then my Vertex dead letter sling. Um, basically, I just have my eye pack in here <laughs> with all the feminine pads. Um, nothing in here. And then the front part. Nothing. In, oh, just my bag. So yeah, I gotta figure out what's going to go in there. So in this pocket, got some chins. This is the fire starting kit that I got with my USCCA. Um, out, of, out of that kit, this is the only thing I, I really want to keep. I keep that in there. I got a sewing kit. Let's get this out of the way. Uh, this little thing is just a um, kind of nail clippers, tweezers, and file. My lighter. The zip ties. Some pens, highlighter, a little band, tactical back scratcher. Uh, that's it down there. Back here, I have a dangle tin, and this has my. This is a pretty sturdy little plastic. Uh, baggy so that the the tool came in so this is that tool that goes with the stealth phone 
phone thingy, phone pouch or something, and then I just um, have some duct tape and some aluminum foil. Yeah, some aluminum foil. And that just goes in there. These are my keys for my uh, RPNB, the pistol safe. And then this is for the, the new one, my um, Pelican case. I got a big ass magnifying glass because why not? This is a kind of a foldable bag. More feminine products. I got some paper clip, like bulk clips in that pocket. That's it. Up here is my kind of charging stuff, all the chargers, power bank. That just goes together there. I guess that's about it on the side. This is like toothbrush, toothpaste, mouthwash. Inside this vertex pouch is some kind of first aid stuff, medicine, uh, Tylenol, Advil, things like that. That's right over there. This side is the food side. Chopsticks, I think I got extra chopsticks, and some coffee, Tabasco, and some like fig bars and things like that. That's it for there. Inside pocket. Little boo-boo. Kit, Neosporin, bandage, bunch of bandages, sanitary wipes, some tissue, uh, antiseptic wipes, wet, wet tissue. This is my emergency eye stuff. Battery, charging stuff, uh, IFAC. And I got some, this was all my paperwork for my Vietnam deployment. This is a new one, or this is a, a, a announcement for the Taiwan trip. And then some puzzles. I got a notebook, another notebook. And then um, I'm gonna uh, sit down here. Uh, on the bottom, I have a, Kind of a waterproof bag and then way at the bottom in this hidden kind of compartment emergency cash a couple hundred bucks uh, credit card emergency cards uh, my personal passport so yeah that's it for that and then at the top, I have my uh, my laptop stuff. Oh, I guess I could take this off. And this is my laptop. And the other pocket is, this is all the peripheral stuff, CAC reader, uh, USB kind of ports, mouse, DVD player, and a cable, HDMI cable. I use this when I had the portable projector. I think that's it, besides my 
body cam. Uh, my dagger. I guess I should take that out too. I got it lashed down with some paracord. And now the bag is empty. Okay, so I gotta get all this into I would text the letter bag. I don't know, like I don't have the I don't have the the ballistic panel. I took it out to put it into my uh scan smart, the Swiss gear bag, and then I took that out to try to put my camel back, but now I don't know where my ballistic panel is. It's probably in one of my boxes somewhere at my friend Guy's house. So anyways, um, I guess I'll start the back with the first aid. I basically have an IFAC in here. Um, let me unclip this. See if I can unclip it. Okay. Maybe not. I don't know. That's one thing I didn't like about these clips is it's just pain in the ass. They just over-engineered it. So anyways, it's going to stay like that. But uh, this is an ankle, ankle carrier, and I just turned it into my IFAC. It's got everything that was in my trauma set. And it just tourniquet. Tourniquet would be in this one. Oh, so this kind of reminds me, um, this is my tourniquet, Glock Ninja. My windlass doesn't stick out like his, I don't know. It's pretty compact. Anyways, the tourniquet just sticks here, Velcro. Um, this has the CPR mask. Maybe I'll put that here. Other than that, everything's the same. Okay, um, let's see, I, I don't, what am I going to do with all this? <laughs> I'll make a video of the different uses that I have for these. But, um, I don't know, just leave it down here. Uh, let's see, first aid. So this is the pouch, I think. Kind of extra medical stuff that I have. I'll take these off. And this is the alien gear, kind of Velcro pad, but this will go here. Okay, and I don't know, I guess that's it for now. Maybe throw in that stuff. Um, let's see, for the inner, so this is for the laptop. I can already tell this is going to be Pretty difficult to get everything in here. Um, notebook. This pocket. I don't know if you guys can see anything, but apologize for that. I don't. This is my apartment. I got pretty. Poor lighting. I need my eyeball stuff. Maybe that can go back here. Uh, let's probably need 
this stuff. Gotta have the butt wipes. Put that in there. I don't know, maybe I can do without that. I have enough. Maybe extra toilet paper or tissue paper can go up here. That's full. Um, pens and pens, everything else. Maybe go, I'll throw this in here. That's about it. Front panel. Yep. Gotta get these things hooked up. Just to get them out of the way. And I think what I did before was uh, I used my cam, the magnets for it at least, and I just stuck it here. Just holds everything together. Um, I gotta do something about this. I don't know, do I need emergency food? Probably not gonna fit anymore. I'll take these off and stick it in here. Now it's really packed. Um, That's it. And then this whole, this is kind of the extra strap so I can put it over my head for the ballistic panel. And that is held by these magnetic cable, cable straps. So if I need it, I pull it. But otherwise, to stay out of the way and that's about it I don't need all my other emergency stuff the dagger goes up here and then I lash that down That's about all I can fit in there. Um, I have to kind of revisit that and try to figure out what I absolutely need to have. But I uh, got my body cam just connected on the strap. Got my stream light here. And that just kind of hides away when you don't need it. That's about it. Usually I just carry it on my left shoulder.